the breeze through your hair and, you know, you just feel free. Nava George has sailed the oceans of her imagination, but to actually be on the water by herself seemed beyond her. For this 20-year-old is a quadriplegic, relying on a ventilator to breathe and a team of nurses around the clock for just about everything else. Mm, yum. <laughs> to Nava, sailing solo remained a dream unfulfilled until she met Amy Barnbrook. This 12-year-old, born with no arms and only part of a leg, is a champion in and on the water. Her dad mentioned sailing and that I could do it and that that inspired me to go for sailing. And there's been the prospect of sailing into history as well. I will be the first ventilated quad to sail by myself, ever. So you'll be a pioneer? I guess so. Just going sailing is good enough for me. But before Nava could realise her dream, a team of people have been doing their own pioneering work. One battery in there over there, Tom. In the Melbourne factory of Access Dinghies, more than 500 craft have taken shape, yeah. many designed for the disabled. But a boat for a quadriplegic needing her ventilator on board, well, that's taken the company into uncharted waters. Oh, this is a really totally watertight compartment in which uh, the ventilator is lashed down in here. Chris Mitchell is the designer. Well, I think someone in Nava's position must be sick of being, uh, being treated as being disabled and this really allows her to get out there and uh, sail alongside everyone else. While the dinghy is built in Melbourne, in Sydney, Nava's special sailing seat with chin controls is being developed. Heat form a PVC and line it with a bit Dr. of Dr. Bill so Fisher, a biomedical engineer from Royal North Shore Hospital, has been overseeing the seat's construction. And these two pads here, for example, support Nava's rib cage to make it possible for her body to be stable when tilted is the challenge here. And Graham Rayner has been preparing Nava for the challenge of being in the boat alone. Nava! Graham's from Sailability, an organisation that encourages everyone onto the water regardless of ability. The sail here at the front. Jim. Jim, excellent. In turn, Graham says, Nava's teaching him and all of us lessons deeper than the sea Bow. itself. Bow. Bow. A lot of people accept limitations and work up to that and they won't go past because, no, I can't do that. Nava's got this feeling, oh, I can do that. And she's willing to go over that edge and extend those boundaries for other people. You control the rudder. OK, now you're going left, go right. Up. And now up and down, you control the sails. Some final adjustments on terra firma. Does this make it more exciting for you that you were this close now, you were in, in the chair? Yeah, it seems more real like it's just tomorrow and finally it is real pretty good oh wow yours is the pretty pink one yeah i guess that you guess that this is captain teddy wow. 15 minutes you'll be able to sail all around here by yourself we're ready to go Excellent. Here we go, Nava. Because I'm free. Oh, I think I want to cry. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. For Nava to go out here and sail in this water by herself and the amount of things she's got against her, that's that's big heart. And... What's it like to be sailing? Fantastic! Cause I'm free. Cause I'm free. I just love the wind through my hair and the and the water on my face, you know, the little splashes. And just be myself. Did the reality of sailing live up to your dreams? It was better than my dreams. I had the time of my life.